Well, what's going on, whiskey lovers? This week, we're gonna go back to the whiskey loot boxes that I've had in extra storage here. And today's one, which is something that I haven't really delved in much, is the Irish whiskey. So, this one is, I've actually had some before, but it's been a little while since I've tried it. So it'll be interesting to see. I can't remember if I like it or not. As always, Whiskey Loot, if you haven't subscribed or you don't use Whiskey Loot, this is one of the best subscriptions to be able to really start discovering whiskey um, and not buying a whole bottle of something that could be you know, $120 and you may not like it, which we've all done before. This is quite simple. You get three samples and it's 60 mils in this. Um, which means you basically get two drinks out of it and you get to discover if you like it or not. Um, as always, haven't been that disappointed with stuff, so let's get into it today. So this one is the Sweet and Fruity Pack. So it's a little bit different. Uh, one of them I've already had, but I haven't done a review on. I don't have a bottle, so it's actually good that I've got it. Um, another one's a bourbon. So wait for the end of the week because as you know, haven't done really much bourbon stuff. So we'll get into that one. So today's one is the Middleton Distillery Green Spot, Cork Country Island. This is a no age statement. Uh, triple distilled matured in ex bourbon and ex sherry casks, uh, Cork Country Island, 40%. Um, on my very little bit of history research that I've done on these guys, these were very, very, very early on in the piece, these distillers. Um, and people used to get, as it, the history of it is, people used to get their whiskey, put it in barrels, and then resell it later on. Um, and there was big issues and they stopped doing that. But these are guys are one of the longest running Irish distilleries from my information I could get. Someone might want to fact check that on me, but um, I believe that's right. So again, reading off the card here, Green Spot is an Irish single pot uh, still whiskey which has been lauded by critics and showered with awards. Now this one, if you're into Jim Murray at all and you trust him, 94. So he has always said, grab a bottle of this if you ever see it. Um, the single pot still process involves using both malted and unmalted barley in the mash bill, which provides a unique spiciness indicative of the unusual style. This no age statement is a mix of whiskies aged between seven and 10 years, retaining many of the unique flavors of the original green spot whiskey. So nose, bags of tropical fruits, mango, papaya, and guava soaked in orange juice and the blend, uh, and then blended with honey, uh, beautifully interwoven. So you know what I'm like? I don't really don't smell too much, but there's way too much fruit in that nose for me not to be able to. So let's have a go. Oh yeah, okay. There is a citrusy smell like that orange. It's a bit lighter, it doesn't, it's not that dried fruit smell. Um, maybe that's tropical fruits, mango, papaya, but um, it's been a while since I've had that kind of stuff. Uh, taste, more rich fruits, but a sharper spice with mint and methanol alongside oak spices. So, Tiny little bit of that mint, but and a bit of spice on there. Typical for an Irish whiskey not to be too overpowering. Um, what I have enjoyed about from the small amount of Irish whiskies I've had is that they are quite a easy drinking whiskey to to actually put down. Um, and this one definitely isn't surprising that it, that it's doing that as well. So finish medium length with a little fruit and a bit more spice. I think you're right. It's pretty short. I, I think that's shorter more so than medium. And that spice kind of hits and then disappears. So for me, length is uh, is a lot smaller than what they're saying. And the spice is only there on that initial hit. Um, so the question is, would I buy it? And I think it's about 120 bucks or something like that. I probably would. This is probably something that's quite an easy um, island or Irish whiskey to drink. And it's not overpowering. It's not anything that's going to smash it out of the park as in like, oh my God, that's the most amazing whiskey. But it is a good whiskey nonetheless. All right, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey before and your thoughts as well. Otherwise, I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.